Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a quick look at the MK61. This is a really cool compact mechanical keyboard that has been specialized with a lot of different themes that just makes it stand out from the crowd, this particular variant being the Coral C. Although it also comes with other animated designs, which just makes it look more customized, it is a wireless mechanical keyboard as well. Windows or Mac using 2.4G and it will function, but it's not using Bluetooth. Now you also get quite a good variety of options in terms of the key switches. So we have actually the Gatoron Yellow Edition. This is actually my first time using a yellow switch keyboard, and just as a quick reference, you can see some of the differences in terms of the operating force and activation points. So a yellow switch is a linear type switch. Uh, that means that it's going to be pretty quiet, getting you a more smooth action as you're pressing down. That's ideal for typing and gaming. So at 50 CNs of operating force, it's going to be a little bit heavier than reds to activate, uh, but at the same time, not as much as something like browns and blues, which are really clicky and tactile, really compact. It's a 60% layout keyboard, so it gets rid of the numpad and extra kind of keys to make it easier to take with you when on the road. In terms of the battery, 1850 milliamp hours is rated to last uh, over 10 hours of continuous use. And just like other mechanical keyboards, benefits being that if you don't like the way it looks, you can also pop off all the keycaps to wash them and replace them, so it's going to be a bit more modular in that sense. We'll take a closer look obviously at the keyboard in a moment, but other accessories that you get include a nice bonus mouse pad. So there we have it, it looks definitely really attractive and customized. You also find a USB Type-C cable there for the wired mode slash charging, and there is a keycap remover as well. Finally, there is just a quick user guide. Taking a closer look at the design here, again, a ton of intricate work going on onto these keycaps, which uh, also have a bit of a texture to them, so they feel slightly coarse and not too slippery as you're typing. A very good overall profile in terms of depth. It's nothing like a butterfly switch or anything like that. Quite good travel and feedback as expected for a mechanical keyboard. And the color here extends even onto the frame, which by the way is constructed out of a polycarbonate plastic that feels overall pretty sturdy. I love how the intention here covers and continues to extend outwards from the main keyboard deck. We have some kind of accents going on, which are in the theme of the ocean and coral vibe that they're going after, which is indeed very beautiful to look at. And then finally, we have just the USB Type-C port for charging. And finally, on the back, we have some more accent work going on, some soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around, a dedicated on off switch, along with the nano receiver there for USB. Even with the cable plugged in, it still looks quite good. And this is what the backlight is like when you are kind of typing in the dark, it really comes to life. Although one thing I will say is the actual keycaps are not translucent, so you aren't able to as easily see the actual letters if you are in complete darkness, but just the kind of outside parameters. So here's what it looks like in complete darkness, but I think it still is very cool. So it does have a little bit of a subtle touch, but again, the letters don't necessarily shine through. However, because of this texture, it's also going to be a little bit more durable. It's not going to wear down, become shiny after you type on it for a while. We can actually tap on function and the arrow right key to change the direction of the animation. So whereas it was going to the left and right, now it's going from the right to the left, as you can see there in the motion. Very smooth and beautiful to look at, I have to say. And I can also change the lighting effects by tapping on function and the left arrow key. So this will go into a red color theme exclusively. And I can also change the direction of movement using the same command that we saw there earlier. Once again, to change into this yellow rippling color instead. Once more into this more of a kind of randomized pattern uh, that is more of a pale yellow. This one here is green, blue, and once more, it will then cycle eventually into these single colors, white light, as well as into back into this rainbow. However, really that's not all. We also have another pattern here, which is kind of a cycle that is in its dot and then rippling outwards in terms of colors. So to trigger that, you can tap on function and this fish icon essentially to go through even more transition effects, which are RGB. Previously that was just single colored modes. So now we have one which is rainbow colored shifting downwards, again, which is the previous one that we saw. This one here, which is kind of in this box shaped pattern as it's swirling between the different colors. Once more here, which is going to be a reactive mode that goes by row to randomly display a color as you are typing along, as you can see there. Not quite as useful, I would say, in the dark, but it's a pretty fun one just to showcase as a conversation starter. This one, which ripples off into multiple rows. And then once more again, that it was more of a apparent glow as you are typing along. You can even duel with multiple characters and see how that effect will play out. 
and then once more here into this oscillating kind of line by line code like pattern, although it's not going to be reactive anymore. A snake pattern, once more into this diagonal ripple pattern, and then it goes back into kind of this candy colored pattern, which is even more dazzling in terms of these shades of colors which are being displayed. All is casting a very even glow before eventually going back into, again, some of the single colored modes as well as uh, individual modes like a memory effect that will trace the colors and then disappear after a few seconds of inactivity. Another one which is a softer kind of cotton candy glow effect, randomized colorful lights. This one here is kind of like a party effect which is just randomly going through colors, popping at a time, and another one here which goes into a more calm version of that light before eventually taking us back into kind of single colored modes and the ones that we started off from. So the 19 different lighting effects on here are plentiful. It's a further adjustable brightness controls using the bracket keys by going up. So this is the max brightness, but I can also dim it. And this is the minimum until it turns completely off, including the speed of the animations as well. So using the uh, key on the side here, you can also make it faster. So this is the fastest motion and also slow it down in terms of the speed. But in case that's not enough for you and you want really further customized lighting modes, individual keys, you want to change the custom colors, you can also do that using the companion app which can be downloaded for PC. So let's also do a quick typing test. So overall, I would say the yellow switches are indeed much more quiet than, again, the really loud clicks of a blue switch, for instance, which are still the most common form that you'll find on budget mechanical keyboards. Uh, but those can be kind of annoying if you are in a public space, others around you will really clearly hear you. What I will say though is that the spacebar sounds a little bit different from the other keys. It's a bit more hollow. It's still consistent in terms of everywhere that you press, it is going down firmly. Overall, I have to say I do like the yellow switches quite a lot. And in my opinion, I think I like this more than dare I say the red switches and brown switches that I've tried in the past. And if you're curious, let's try pulling off one of these keycaps. This is what the yellow switch looks like underneath, which uh, again is accented yellow like the name implies. So that is more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this uh, very intricately designed MK61 mechanical keyboard by XVX. And as a whole, again, I just really like the way that it looks. Uh, I think first and foremost, because of this coral reef design and all of the intricate design work uh, for a keyboard that is relatively affordable. I mean, there are other options out there like Nufi's Air 75 that also have this level of customization. However, those will sell for easily two or three times the price of this model in addition to just performing very well when it comes to just typing and just using it in the day-to-day. 60% compact keyboards are always really easy to take with you. With that being said, keycaps themselves are still full size, so you're not getting a cramped layout or anything like that at all, as long as you aren't doing a ton of number crunching and you don't need a dedicated numpad. So overall, it takes a lot of boxes, and aside from missing, let's say, Bluetooth, which I think would be nice to have in the future, as well as keycaps maybe that can shine through, uh, overall, this is an excellent, beautiful looking mechanical keyboard with a very interesting set of switch options. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.